What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and regular viewers of the channel will know that me and my daughter we often share a good pizza and I was in Iceland and I saw this bad boy. It's a new pizza. I don't know how new it is because sometimes you, they put that new on the packet for years and it's an absolute banger and I thought that reminds me of something. And I, so I thought back and then I thought right I'll have a Google because I'm sure I've heard that somewhere before. And two years ago, in February 2021, just over two years ago, Domino's released a pizza called Ab An Absolute Banger. And it's the first time that I think I tasted chorizo sausage on a pizza. And that's what it, that's what it triggered in my mind. I thought, I recognise that name from somewhere because it's, I still get it sometimes from Domino's now because it's still on the menu to this day, which is why this is quite surprising that they're allowed to use this Absolute Banger as of their pizza name and it is stuffed crust with a hot dog now Domino's used to do that as well I don't think they do that anymore but they definitely used to they used to be able to get hot dog um, stuffed crust for a, for a little while on the absolute banner from Domino's it had hot dog slices on the pizza this also has that so let's just compare the Domino's one I've got the Domino's one here so Domino's have got pepperoni, sausage, chorizo, hot dog slices and mozzarella cheese on theirs. And this one has got sausage, pepperoni, chorizo and mozzarella cheese. But it looks like it's got small bits of hot dog on as well in the picture there. Anyway, we'll take a close look. It says hot dog stuffed crust. We'll take a closer look anyway. They don't Let's have a look at this pack. I've just I've just realised though, just having a quick look at that there, I've just realised that it's barbecue sauce underneath. The Domino's was tomato. I prefer tomato, so I'm probably just gonna have a slice of this and give my my daughter the rest of it. It's a shame. It's a shame because I was really looking forward to this as well. I didn't realise it was barbecue sauce. It gets too sweet for me, barbecue sauce. Oh well, we'll have a look at it, we'll get it cooked, we'll have a taste anyway. Come on. I am absolutely gutted about that. I didn't realise. I didn't. Oh, you can see it as well. So it says it's new. I don't know how new it is. Iceland's takeaway pizza, stuffed crust, absolute banger. A hot dog sausage stuffed crust pizza topped with barbecue style sauce, pork sausage, pepperoni, chorizo, and mozzarella cheese. Hot dog filled crust. Now, five hundred and forty-eight grams. Regular viewers of the channel will remember a few weeks back. I did a um, a fajita stuffed crust fajita pizza with cheese stuffed crust from this iceland takeaway range and the crust wasn't stuffed it was just it was absolutely pathetic as in, as a stuffed crust obviously a pizza was good but the, the crust was just not stuffed crust and it, it wound well, me up a little bit to be honest i said you shouldn't have called it a stuffed crust now this has got to be stuffed because it's got a blooming sausage in there <laughs> so let's have a look at it right ingredients So we have smoked hot dog sausage at 22%, 2.5% pepperoni, 8% mozzarella cheese, pork sausage pieces 2.5%, cooked sausage 2.5%, chorizo 2.5%. So the, the biggest sausage, con the biggest sausage um, is obviously in the crust. You've got wheat, milk, mustard as the allergens, but it also says it could contain celery. And that is the nutritional information for you guys that know what you're talking about. I, of course, do not. 689 calories per half a pizza. So we are over the 1300 calorie. 1350. Oof, 1380 calories. It's a lot of calories for a pizza. 29 grams of protein. This is per half a pizza, remember. 70 grams of carbohydrates. And a little bit of information there that says a smoked hot dog sausage stuffed crust pizza base topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese. Tomato sauce? A smoked hot dog sausage stuffed crust pizza base topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, barbecue sauce, pepperoni. Well, it might have both pepperoni, pork sausage pieces, cooked sausage, and chorizo. Oh, I suppose maybe, maybe it's got barbecue sauce on the top. And tomato sauce on the base. Right, let's have a look at it. All may not be... 
all is not what it seems by the looks of it. It looks like <laughs> it looks like they've got barbecue sauce over here and tomato sauce over here. This will be interesting. Confusing. As if life isn't confusing enough. Right. So uh, this is for cooking from frozen. There we go. So it definitely looks like it's got tomato sauce on the bottom and maybe a barbecue sauce drizzle or something. Oh well. Right, I didn't even look how long we've got to cook this for. 17 minutes, fan 200. So the biggest thing between the Domino's Absolute Manger and this Absolute Manger is the price. Because the Domino's one, as you know, for a large pizza, now that's, a large pizza is probably not size comparable to this, this is probably more their small, but even that would be more expensive because the large pizza version of this is $23.99. This was three pound, and currently, at the time of filming, you can get two for fiver. So, I paid three pound, I got one. So, let's see if it's uh, worth three quid. So that is just about done now. I've got my trusted pizza accessories. One more, one more. Let's get it out of the oven. And here it is. An absolute banger. Maybe overdone it slightly, but it'll be fine. So let's get this cut up. Ah, oh, the crusts are tough. Maybe that sausage in there. Surprising that. I thought they'd have been a bit softer with them being stuffed crust, but they are not stuffed with cheese either. They're stuffed with hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggly dog. <laughs> People with kids will know what that is. <laughs> right, okay. So, let's have a taste. Now, it's all important taste time. However, I have made a slight error here. Usually, I have a spare Domino's garlic and herb sauce, which is my absolute favourite to go with a pizza when I'm reviewing a pizza at home. And I've been caught cold and I haven't got one. Nightmare. Now, my missus, Mrs. Dino, is actually at Aldi now, but this will be cold by the time she gets back because Aldi do their own version of it and it's massive and it's about 50, 60 pence. It tastes identical to the Domino's one. The problem is, you, unless you're sharing it, it's too big for just one person. So I generally save the free ones from Domino's because my daughter doesn't like them. But when we get my daughter a Domino's once a month, you get a couple with your pizzas. So anyway, absolute banger. We're just going to have to go without the sauce for now. Does look all right. Nice, nice undercarriage, a little bit of flop. And there is a hot dog sausage in there, as you've just seen on the... Uh, and we'll give you a close up. We'll go straight in for it. Looks, it is tomato sauce. Oh, it is tomato sauce on the base, so it must just be drizzled with barbecue sauce. So I'm, I'm gonna actually have half now. Hot. Oh, it's, it's a bit of a mix of the sauce. So yeah, the tomato sauce base is very, it's a very light tomato sauce base in there. And then, it's like some parts of tomato sauce and some parts of barbecue. It's a bit strange. I don't hate it, but it's not as sweet as the actual just full on barbecue one, like the one from Domino's. So I am, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of having, sharing the, the base with tomato and barbecue sauce than just having all barbecue so we'll give this uh, stuffed crust a go straight away not messing about hm. look at that it pops out that came out of the crust a proper little hot dog sausage Mm. 
that hot dog sausage in the crust is really nice, really flavorful. When you bite it though, it slips out the other end. <laughs> but it's it's really, really nice. It's got that really nice meaty, salty flavor that you get in, it's, it's better than the tinned hot dog sausages. And they're all right, you know, for a, for, for a little treat. On the pizza, you've got the meats, the pepperoni, the chorizo. Now, the chorizo is a bit lost because they have they are only little tiny little pieces like this. And uh, yeah, I, I, I want more chorizo. The chorizo is a bit lost. You got a bit of like the Cumberland sausage, pepperoni. Um, overall, it's nice. I mean, all pizza, like I said before on this channel, even bad pizza is good pizza because you can get a plain bog standard margarita and it's, it's good in it. Pizza's just good. So. An absolute banger for three quid. It's, it's good. Is it better than the um, that new Chicago Town one that I had last week? Um, it's got more toppings on, and I like the crust better. I think it's up there with it, and it's four twenty-five. I think the Chicago Town one, the cheese and tomatoes, better, better quality. But this one's got more toppings, and of course, a stuffed crust. So I'll probably rate them the same. They're really nice. Nine out of ten. You can't go wrong with these type of pizzas. Three quid or two for a fiver. What was that? Fifteen minutes in oven. Yeah, seventeen minutes in oven, and it's it's absolutely cracking. You don't have to worry about making it. Just it's just in in your oven, nice and easy. Friday treat or something like that. Can't go wrong. Couple of beers, maybe watch the football. Happy days. Love pizza, me. Right, I'm gonna go see what little uh I would say little Dino then. Dino daughters. <laughs> little Dino's not that little anymore. She's a, <laughs> bigger than a mum. So Yeah, I'm, I liked it. Three quid, definitely worth it. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow for another food review. Did somebody say Special. I wouldn't buy that again.